So till now we have created users and groups, we have modified the users and groups entries, we have seen how we can set the password age. But now I'm going to show you how we can add a user to a group. As we know, the user, when it's created, automatically it gets an owner group. Now if I want to add some members into the group, how we are going to do that? That's what we are going to see here. Very first thing, whenever we create or whenever we create the user and if I want to add the user into my groups, we can add multiple in users into a same group or we can add user into multiple groups as well. So to assign the common permission to multiple users, you can add the user into the same or different groups. The groups can be a owner group or it can also be a supplementary group. Same way, the users which we are going to add into the group so for that we need to modify the file called as slash etc slash group where it stores all your owners for group as well as the supplementary group. Just we need to move into the file and modify the entries. So how we are going to modify the entries and how we are going to add the user into group into the file slash etc slash group that we are going to see into the terminal. So here we are going to see how we can add the users into a particular group. So uh, already we have seen the permissions, we have defined the permission from the owner, group and others. But uh, we haven't seen it practically whether it works or not. So here what we are going to do is I am uh, logged in through the root and root has created a directory into the slash itself. I am going to create a directory with name demo or root share I can say. Okay. So uh, let us check for the permission your root share has. So first let us move into the slash and I'm going to check for the permission of root share. So we have multiple files here. Okay, let us check directly L and we have the root share. The default permission is read, write and execute for the owner read and execute for uh, the group and read and execute for the others. So I'm just going to change the permission 770 for root share. So now we can check this is root share directory has the permission 770 now. Now this is my user one. This user one tries to move into the slash root share so it is showing you permission denied slash root share sorry share again there is no such file or directory okay that is two twice i have written share you can see permission is denied means even though you will be able to see this directory if i want to directly move one mount point i can i'll be able to see this root directory as I am not added as a member of this group, that is a roots group, I won't be able to get access to it. Even I won't be able to move into this directory. Correct? Now if I want that I should be able to move into this directory, I have to be a member of the roots group. So how will we be doing it? What we will be doing is, through the root, you can move into the etc group. Into the group, we are going to add the username over here user one so this is the group member of user that is your super user root now now again if this user looks for the permission he knows that he is a group member of your root so now if he tries to move into the root share data wall we just need to exit it out and log in again switch user user one and um, the password the user again this moves are moved into the slash and again root share he's able to move in he's able to create the directory as well because I have defined the permission to it as read write and execute means full control permission now if I want to change the permission uh, I want to change it to 750 for root share and check here I'll just exit out of this user again I'll get login switch user user 1 and I'll define the password again this user tries to move into 
cd root share he will be able to because he has the read permission right he is able to list out the data but if he's trying to create any data any particular file or directory he won't be able to even though the last data was created by him because we have changed the permission we have set the permission of this particular root share to read write and execute for the group so if I want to add uh, the different number of users, like if I want to add the trainer as well into this group, because trainer is still others over here. If I check, now I have logged in through the trainer. Now trainer again wants to move into the root share. He won't be able to. Permission denied. If the root wants that even the trainer should be able to get access to this particular data, what he can do is, he can again move into the vi slash etc slash group and add the other user trainer in front of it again so uh, while you are modifying the file ensure that you are not affecting the current file okay, very carefully you need to add your users and the user should be separated by the comma so you can add number of users but all the users should be separated by comma save it now again the trainer tries to log at login cd share oh, sorry root share okay i need to exit out of it and again i'm going to get login let us cd cd root share okay so i have to get log out because the, the graphical console I have logged in so what I'll do I'll just show you from the different terminal from the TTY2 I am getting login through the trainer pass the password and now again I'm moving into the CD slash and uh, CD root share he is again able to get access to the data but again as it has the permission only read write execute he won't be able to create anything so this is what the permissions generally we have set by using the users and group members. So we have set the group members permission and now here we have seen how we can add the users into a particular group. Not only for the users but the trainer can also add the particular user into his group. Like you can again move into the group. Again you can search for your user account that is your trainer. Now trainer wants to add the user one to his group he can so trainer group already contains trainer into it along with that with comma just add your user one and save it out so this is how generally we have the we have set like how we can add the permissions and uh, we have seen how we can add the users into a particular group into the next uh, video we are going to check for like how we can uh, create uh, and you know change the owners and groups of a particular directory and a file we have created so let us move to the next video